I wear contacts, but I'm wearing them right now. You have very small wrists. My dad's gonna be so mad at me. One of my friends got a DWI. He said it was the scariest thing at first, so I was scared. Hello, I'm off support of the state police department. Reason I'm stopping you? Um, your speed on Donaghy? Yes. Sir. The speed limit's 30 miles an hour, okay? I'm sorry. Do you know how fast you were going? No. 10 4. Okay. Do you have your proof of insurance as yes, well? Sir. One other thing, um, when you were driving, mm -hmm. you kept going back and forth, crossing over, almost hitting the plastic things on the side and going over the center line. Have you had anything to drink tonight at all? Yes, sir. Yes? Okay. All right, give me just one second, okay? I'm sorry. Oh, you're fine. So how much have you had to drink tonight? I haven't had much. Like Not I much. live right there at okay. Centerstone. Okay. And if you want to follow me, no. I need, like, how much is not much? I've had, I've had like one drink, like one or two. One or two. I'm like I'm I'm okay. Okay. To drink. I, mean, I trust her to get in the car. So. Okay. So here's the thing. I have to make sure you're good to drive. Okay. Okay. So do you mind stepping out here for just a second with me? We're gonna come right back here. You can close your car door. Okay. Come right back here to the front of my car. We're gonna stand right in front of my car. I'm so sorry. No, you're fine. This. Just come stand right here. Uh, do you have any medical conditions, any eye conditions, anything like that? I wear contacts, but I'm wearing them right now, and I have okay. anxiety. But okay. So what I want you to do. If you'll stand, feet together just like that, and put your arms straight down to your side. Okay. And stand like that until I tell you to do anything else, okay? Okay. All right. Can you see the tip of my finger right here? Yes, I can. All right, I want you to focus on the tip of my finger with your eyes and your eyes only. It's going to go side to side. Okay. Just move your eyes, keep your head perfectly still. Do you understand? Yes, sir. Follow, you gotta keep watching my finger, okay? I know it's it's annoying. Make sure to keep your head perfectly straight. And just follow with your eyes. I'm going to go up this time. If you lose sight of my finger, just look where you last saw it, okay? And one more time. Be perfectly honest with you. You've had more than one drink. Right? Yes, sir. Okay, how many more? I'm, I'm, I'm going to be 100% Okay, when's the last drink you had? I had a 
Capriccio. It's like it's kind when? of like what wine. time? Um, it was about maybe 45 minutes, an hour ago. Okay. Where are y'all coming from? Centerstone. Center? Which is, so where are you coming from? I live at Centerstone. Right. You you didn't come from Centerstone though. You were coming. Going, you're going yeah. to Centerstone. Where'd you C come from? Seagap House. Seagap House. Okay. And I feel bad for saying that, but it happens all the time. Okay. Here's the joke. You're not gonna drive. You want to do a couple more tests for me? Yes, sir. Okay. 36 GCA. Show me doing field sobriety. So what we're going to do, we're going to use this white line in the parking lot, okay? So scoot back a little bit further. What I want you to do is put your left foot on the line and put your right foot in front of it, heel directly in front of your, touching your toe, and put your arm straight down to your side again. 37 oh. GCA, I'll be headed his just, way. Just, nope, don't start moving yet. So we're going to start over, okay? okay. Right. Put your left foot on the line. Put your right foot heel to toe, in front of it, heel to toe. Arm straight down to your side, stay like that until I tell you to begin, okay? So when I tell you to begin, what you're gonna do is you're gonna take nine heel to toe steps down the line, taking a series of small steps, leaving your lead foot planted. You're gonna turn around and take nine heel to toe steps back down the line. I'll demonstrate real quick. So it'll be one, two, three. You'll go all the way to nine, keeping your lead foot planted. A series of small steps to turn around, and nine heel to toe steps back. One, two, three, and all the way to nine. So, get back in that starting position. Don't start just yet for me. Make sure you put your right foot in front. And then stand just like that. While you do this test, look down at your feet, count your steps out loud, and keep your arms straight down to your side. Do you understand the test? Yes, sir. All right, now before you start, do you have any kind of medical conditions, anything, any issues with your legs? Okay. I mean, you, I have anxiety and no, depression, you're, but I you're don't fine. know if that counts. So, do you understand the test, or yes, do you want sir. me to demonstrate it again for you yes, one more sir, time? Yes, I understand it. Okay. Nine steps on the line. Okay. You can begin the test whenever you're ready. the instructions that I gave you? Nine or ten steps. Okay, let's start over again, okay? Right, just come back to the very, back up here. Okay, back on the line. Left foot on the line. Right foot in front, heel to touching toe. Arm straight down your side. Stand just like that. Don't begin the test until I tell you to, okay? Okay. So, from there, you're going to take nine heel to toe steps down the line. One, two, three all the way to nine, leaving your lead foot planted a series of small steps to turn around. Okay. And then you're gonna take nine heel to steps back. One, two, three, and all the way to nine. Yes, While sir. you do this, look down your feet, catch your steps out loud, keep your arms straight down to your side. Okay. You understand the test? Yes, sir. Nine steps. Okay, you can begin the test. One more test for you, okay? So same position as the first one I had you do. You're gonna stand feet together, heel to heel, toe to toe, arms straight down to your side, okay? Yes, sir. All right, stand just like that until I tell you to begin the test. You understand? Right. Yes, sir. When I tell you to begin, you're gonna pick a foot of your choosing. Doesn't matter which one. You're gonna raise it approximately six inches off the ground, keeping your toe pointed and your foot parallel to the ground. You're gonna look at your foot and you're gonna count out loud. 1,001, 1,002, 1,003, and so on until I tell you to stop. Okay. While you do the test, remember, look at your foot, your arm straight down to your side. Yes, sir. Count your steps out, or count out loud. You can keep both legs perfectly straight. Do you understand the test? Yes, sir. Okay. 
You can begin. All right, you can stop. Okay. So what I need you to do is I need you to turn around and put your hands behind your back for me, okay? Are you going to rest me? I am. Okay. okay. Right. I'm trying not to get your walk, okay? You have very small wrists. Uh, I'm so sorry. I'll feel okay. There's nothing to be sorry for. It's just it's what it is. You've had more to drink than you thought. So we're going to walk back here to my car, okay? We're going to go over to the passenger side. I won't tell your parents about it. You're an adult. You don't have anything in your pockets, do you? I don't. Okay. okay. I mean. Okay. So what I want you to do is I need you to have a seat in here. Okay. You're probably small enough that you can fit. Okay. Um, do you have anything in your car that you need? Your phone, wallet, any of that? Okay. Okay, Chloe. So here's what we're going to do. I've got to take you back to the police department, and we've got another test to do, okay? Mm -hmm. How old are you? 20? Okay. So, you are underage. So, your limit in the state of Arkansas is lower than .08. So, we'll get back, we'll do the test, and we'll see where you're at, okay? She's had a glass and a half of wine. She doesn't to be intoxicated. She even said, I probably shouldn't be driving on her. So we can PBT her. I've got a PBT if you well, want. If you want to, yeah, let me PBT her. That way you won't have to do a tow in the car. That's what I think. You know, if she's drunk, then we'll get her a ride, but. Is it okay if I ask what's going to happen? Because she's from Texas. Her parents are in Texas. Right. Um, so, I'm going to have you... Just, put, okay. just blow in that till I say stop. Blow hard. Blow, 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 keep blowing. Is that good? Do I need to go a little bit longer? Yeah, take a okay. good deep breath. Okay, Like sorry. I said, you're not in any I'm trouble. Little, I know, I'm just kind of so nervous. Just take a okay. big deep breath and just a long, constant blow. Blow, 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 blow. Okay, you got to, all right. okay. you got to blow just a little bit harder. Okay. Sorry. All right, go again. No, you're good. Blow, 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 almost there. Blow, blow, blow. There it goes. Okay, you're good. Okay. Are you 21? No. Okay. okay. <clears throat> so. Yeah, you're not driving. <laughs> okay. So, okay. With, with her, uh, since she's driving, even from Texas, obviously she's under the influence um, so we'll go back she's in the state of Arkansas so we'll do the DWI process here okay. um, so I've got to go do we got to do a breath test and all that with her so we'll have to figure that out right. um, likely with the jail um, if she ends up going to jail mm -hmm. they're not holding people she may have to sober up and then get released but there should be no her having to pay bail or anything like that. Okay. Um, so what about, like, how do can you, I <laughs> do you, you that can come get you? Do you have somebody who can come pick you up that's sober? Yes. Okay. What do you, do you just leave her car here? Well, we can't leave the car here because it's private property. Okay. Um, do you know if they, would it be somebody she knows that she would be fine with moving I mean, her we, car? We live together, so 
Yeah, it should be fine. Okay. Well, I'd have to make sure it's fine with her. Otherwise, if we can't get, and it'd have to be two people to come, um, one to drive you and one to drive this car. Okay. Or somebody, if somebody me, can just come drop Somebody a can come off. drop a friend right. off to drive the car. Okay. Um, Let me call someone. <laughs> I'm going to go see if she's okay, if you can find a friend that's sober okay. to drive her car yeah. to get it so it doesn't have to get towed because we're not trying to right. make it more yeah. difficult. But, um, her wallet and phone, do you have her those so I can send? right here. Her keys, I was looking Well, the keys, the well, keys will need to stay with the car, and I'm assuming her her ID just goes on the back here. She, do you have her ID? I have her ID. Okay. Okay, well, here's her wallet. You need that. Uh, does it have her car keys on it? Yes, it has her clock. Okay. Well, so. she shouldn't need her wallet as long as she has her ID. Okay. I'll, I'll make sure she All is right. good with that. Yeah, um, I'm going to call. I'm going to go see if she. Give me a tow over to just put my bag in my locker. Okay. Chloe, so she can't drive your car. She's had I'm too sorry, much to drink. No. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Listen, she is trying to call people to come and pick her up. If she can get a hold of somebody that's sober and can drive, are you okay with her having them move your car so we don't have to tow your car? Yeah? Okay. And then I'm going to leave your wallet with the car and we'll just put your ID in the back of your phone. Is that okay? Yeah? Okay. thought anything of it, but she was doing 50 down Donaghy, and she was doing this the whole way down. Never really like going all the way over, but she was just mm, swerving back and forth. So. She's from Texas, is that going to I'm like, well, it's still a DWI, she's in Arkansas, so yeah, she... <laughs> <laughs> Siget. Siget. Siget, go on the center stone. I lit her up. By uh, softball complex. She could have turned into two entrances of the softball complex. Passed both of those, passed Hillman, and I thought she was going to try and drive home. <laughs> Alright, well, I appreciate you. I'll take care of the next one. Alright. It's okay. You don't have anything to be sorry for. I understand. We will not contact your parents. Okay. Uh, once we get to the office, I'll, I'll sit down and I'll talk through all this with you, okay? All right, you can step it out. We're going to go right in here. It's okay. Watch your step stepping up there. We're going to go to the right and down this hallway. Come through here. Just make sure that we're going to go right in here.
come right over here for me. <laughs> You're all right. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is stand here for just a second. Come here. I'll take these off of you. Hey, it's okay. All right. So what I need you to do, I need you to have a seat right here. And I just need this wrist over here. So you're going to scoot this way a little bit. It's okay. Hey, give me just one second. I'll be right back, okay? Okay. Big, deep breath in. And then blow out. It's long and hard. Keep blowing. Keep blowing. Nope. nope. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. When you take your breath in, take the breath in before you put your mouth on it, and then put your mouth on it and then blow out. Sorry, I'm just kind of freaking out. I, it is absolutely normal. You are much calmer than the last person I arrested for this, okay? Okay. Take your big deep breath in now. And then blow out hard, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep going. Perfect. Am I allowed to use the bathroom? Yeah, as soon as this test is completed, I will take you to the bathroom right there and I'll let you go to the bathroom, okay? This is so embarrassing. <laughs> That's gonna be so mad at me. <laughs> what does that mean? It's just the process this thing goes through. So what if I blow over? Do I have to stay here? Yeah, so you'll if you're over, you will get the, you'll be charged with the DWI, and you'll you'll like I said, you'll go over to the jail to be fingerprinted for it. Okay. So what if I'm not? Do I get to go home? <laughs> I'm so sorry for you're acting okay. like this. No. I've just never been arrested, so no. I'm kind of you scared. You are you are fine. This is perfectly normal. One of my friends got a DWI here. He said it was the scariest thing at first. So I was scared. Who was it? Brady Wally. Hmm. When did he get his? Like, it was last semester. September, maybe. He said he had to stay the night here and he was so scared. Okay, so we're going to have to do that test again. On this paper, if you'll turn around here for me. Um, so second test if officer deems necessary. Based off of that first test, I have to do a second test, okay? Um, so Arkansas law permits officers to request one or more chemical tests of your breath, urine or saliva for person arrest for DWI. 
Um, haven't taken my first test. You are now requested to submit to a second chemical test. Will you take a second test for me? Mm -hmm. Okay, so you'll need to initial again. And then sign down here. I'm so sorry. You're okay. So, does that mean like I didn't pass so I have to do another test? Well, it means that there was something off with the first one. So, was it me or the machine? I'm not 100% certain on what to call this movie. Most people that are I've in this situation mistaken. don't. I'm so sorry. Like, I just want you to know I'm not a bad person. I don't think you're a bad person. I just make some bad decisions sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> so if I, like, pass or whatever, we all drive you back to my apartment? Or do I have to still stay here? Well, you won't stay here. So you said your dad has had a DWI before? Multiple. Multiple? And is he still able to drive? Mm hmm It just scares me because I don't want him to think it's a, I'm like he used to be. You know what I'm saying? So, he was always still able to drive and he still got a job? Mm hmm So it's not gonna, it's not gonna hurt you that bad, okay? I'm just, uh, I'm just not like this, so I'm just kind of scared. Like, I know I'll be okay, but I'm just kind of scared. No, yeah. Because <laughs> I don't want anything on my record. Because <laughs> I just got a job and I'll start Tuesday, so I'm scared. <laughs> So again, take your deep breath before you put your mouth on this, okay? Deep breath in, and strong, steady breath out. Keep blowing, keep blowing, keep blowing. Perfect. I have to get one more sample from you, okay? That's okay. <clears throat> so I promise, I am as soon as as soon as this test is good, I will let you go. I promise. Once again, not this I know you are. Oh, 
like I told you earlier, this is the ideal situation that I can be interacting with you while you're intoxicated and driving, okay? Because the other alternative is... Jail. <laughs> so. Well, jail or you end up getting in a wreck. Right. And that's even worse. Well, yeah, I mean, I know it was my fault, so I can't be mad. But at the same time, I'm just kind of scared. Because I've never been in it's this a, situation. It is perfectly fine to be scared. say your friend's name was? Maybe what? It was like last semester or something. You sure it was UCA that stopped him? Yeah. It was at Kings and then he he went to jail. He had to stay the night. <laughs> it may have been Conway. Uh, Probably a Conway officer who arrested him. If he was over at King's. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he got arrested at King's. Well, he didn't get arrested at King's, but he went back to his dorm, and then they found him because he was, you know. He didn't get arrested for DWI, did he? Public in talks and DWI. I think one of them got dropped, but I don't remember which one. Okay. Last time, hopefully. So, again, deep breath in before you blow. Put your mouth on there. Deep breath, blow out strong, keep blowing, keep blowing, keep going, and perfect. Make sure this was a good enough test for it, and then we will. Is that bad? I didn't see what the first one said. I saw that one, but I, I need to see the, it'll print this out, it'll print it out in just a second, and give it an actual result. I'm sorry, I'm just really scared. You're okay. The problem with the first one was it had two, it was a, two varying, the samples were different levels, they varied more than the machine tolerates. So, like, if I pass, we all drive me back to my apartment, or, like... If you pass, that would be what would potentially happen. Okay. Okay. But you have to remember, also have to remember, being under 21, you can't be over a .02. It's not oh, a .08, okay. it's a .02. Okay. And I can tell you, you're over a .02. Yeah. You could have one drink and be over a point zero two. So, like, does my car just stay? <laughs> they took it back to your apartment. Okay, yeah, sure. Okay. Yep. Which means you don't have a tow bill. You don't have to go and get your car out of the impound. You don't have to pay for that. <laughs> I'm scared to call my parents to Good. That's just the process the machine goes through. Okay, I'm it, it, sorry. I'm just no. kind of freaking out. Once it once it prints out, I'll, I'll show you what your I'm sorry. What your I'm was. just freaking out. Yeah. You're fine. Did he get arrested out of state hall? Yes, he did. Was it a male and a female officer that arrested him? Did you tell I you? know Weber. The female officer, Weber, I know she was one of them. I was the other one. We're here, Ellie. That's funny. Okay. So, right here is the first breath sample. It was a point one eight four. The second one was a point one eight six. So your final result is a point one eight. Is that good? 
That's way bad. The legal limit is point zero eight if you're over twenty one. Come on, let's let you go to the bathroom real quick. So what do I do? Well, first you're gonna go to the bathroom since you needed to go, right? Let's go. Go. You go to the bathroom, and then once you're done, come back in here, and I'll explain everything else to you. Okay? <laughs> oh my God. It's right here to your right. Let's go to the bathroom. Just come have a seat on the other side of the table again. Okay. Okay, so this next part on this form is part two. So to be completed once officer completed by officer when the subject has taken off test in part one. So we're done with part one. Um, so part two is having taken the officer's test, so my test, you have the right to an additional test or test to be to determine the alcohol, controlled substance, or other intoxicant content of your breath or blood. Um, <clears throat> this is for the test at your own expense. So you have the right to having a test at your own expense. Do you want another test at your own expense? Yes or no? No, I'm just sure. Okay, so you'll initial there on no. So does that mean I have to stay here? We'll get there. And if you could, where you marked an X there and there, can you just put your initials? Like by the X? Yeah. Part three, optional blood test if subject volunteer, if you voluntarily consent. If you are asked whether you consent to a blood test, you understand that you do not have to, you do not have to consent to such a test. A blood test will not be taken unless you voluntarily agree or a search warrant is issued. Furthermore, you understand that if you choose to withhold consent to a blood test, you will not suffer criminal penalties and your driving privilege will not be suspended or disqualified. Do you voluntarily consent to take a blood test? No. Okay. Initials there, and then sign down there. <laughs> right, that is one form done. So you said five to seven years. I think that is the correct time range. <laughs> I'm not 100% certain on that though, okay? Okay, so back to this one. So, you're fine. So, I'm going to read this top portion to you just so you can just listen to me, okay? So, this is official notice that the suspension, revocation, or disqualification of your driving privilege will begin at midnight of the 30th day from the date of arrest. 
You have the right to an administrative hearing to contest the revocation, suspension, or disqualification of your driving, pri driving privilege within 20 days from your request for hearing. You must request a hearing within seven calendar days of this notice being given or your request for administrative hearing to contest will be denied. The attached request for hearing form contains additional instructions. Your vehicle registrations will be suspended if you are charged with a second or subsequent alcohol or drug offense within five years of the first. If you hold a commercial driver's license, your commercial driving privilege will be disqualified whether you're in a commercial vehicle or a non-commercial vehicle at the time of arrest. The officer is required by law to take all license certificates in your possession. If you have a valid license, issue a temporary license effective for 30 days. You are required to surrender your driver's license if you have it with you. This document is your receipt for your license surrender. So, like I said earlier, I have to keep this because it has to get mailed into the state. But this form is your temporary driver's license, okay? okay. So, you're getting issued a temporary driver's license that is good for 30 days from today's date. Uh, jumping down here, by this notice, I am advised that if I am intoxicated or if a chemical test indicates an alcohol concentration of 8 hundredths of 1%, 0.08 or more for DWI, BWI offense, 4 hundredths of 1% for deep CDL offenses, 0 0.04, or 2 hundredths of 1% for underage DUI offense, 0 0.02 through 0 0.07, or the presence of other intoxicating substance, or a combination of substances, my privilege to drive will be revoked, suspended, disqualified, or denied as provided by Arkansas Code Annotated 565-104 for DWI, BWI, 27-23-112 for CDL, and 565-304 for underage DUI. And if I refuse to submit the test, my driver privilege will be revoked, suspended, or disqualified, or denied as a result of refusal. You did not refuse to take the test, so your life, like, you don't have to worry about that. Um, law enforcement officer must give you a copy of this notice to each person arrested for violating this law, even if the person does not have a valid license or he or she refuses to sign or is unable to sign. If you will, down here in the bottom, sign and date. That's your acknowledging that this is your temporary license being issued to you and I have to take your actual license. How long is it gone? <clears throat> is today the 15th? Today is the 15th. Um, this is good for 30 days. I don't know how the state of Arkansas communicates with the state of Texas as far as if they will suspend your license in Texas over this or if it's just an Arkansas suspension. Yeah. I'm so sorry. You're fine. I'm sorry for apologizing, but I just, <laughs> like, this is, uh, I'm a good person <laughs> I feel really bad. I do not doubt that you are a good person. And just because this is happening doesn't mean you're a bad person. I hope you understand that. Okay? This doesn't make you a bad person. I don't want my dad to be mad at me because I know he's going to be so mad. And I mean, it happens, but still. Well, he'll understand. It happened to him when he was younger, right? Right. I just don't want him to cut me off because I don't have any money to pay for college, so. things here off of this that are yours. Okay, so this top copy, this top form, this is what you need to carry around. This is your temporary driver license. So this is what allows you to drive. On the back of this is the information for administrative hearing information, the information about administrative hearings. And this is the form to request that. I will let you read about that. Somebody asked me questions about that one time, and I don't have answers for it. It is something that's way above my level. 
Um, but that information is on these. For you. So I can like still drive. I just said... yeah. This is this is good for thirty days. This allows you to drive for thirty days. Okay. So what happens after thirty days? I have to go to court. You will have a court date. Awesome. Okay, let me finish filling this out too. Okay. I know this is probably kind of annoying, but like, do I have to stay here overnight? Okay, so you won't stay here. You won't. You most likely won't be staying anywhere. Um, so what will happen is I have to finish filling this ticket out. I have to fill this form out. Okay. <clears throat> Once I finish these, I'll make. I have to make some copies, and then I'll take you over to the Fauquier County Jail. Yeah, you actually have to go to jail. You're not going to stay there. Listen, you're not staying there. So you're not staying there. What will happen is, typically, you would typically have to pay bail and you'd have to pay to get out of jail. But with COVID going on, for nonviolent offenses, all they're doing, at most, is detox, which means you'd stay there for like six hours. I'm not even going to have them do that. I just want them to fingerprint you. Because you have to be fingerprinted for this arrest. Okay? So they'll fingerprint you. And you'll be able to call and have somebody come pick you up. Okay? Oh my god. I'm so sorry. You're wrong. So, like, do I have a ticket that I have to pay? How much do you think? Um, so you will probably, you will actually have to go to court over it, okay. since it is a DWI. Mm -hmm. And I do not know what the average cost on DWIs is. So, like, if I pay it, it'll probably still be on my record. Oh, yeah. Until, like, five or six or seven years. You said? Mm hmm. Okay. So my parents will find out at some point. So I should just call them tomorrow. Mm -hmm. Okay, I probably will. Finish filling this out. Okay, I'm sorry. You're fine. You have ever got to ask all the questions you want. This is also going to go with you. So this is your copy of the ticket you're being issued. So, right. Okay. 
So this is your ticket. Okay. Your court date is marked right here. It's the 28th of February this year at 8.30 a.m. This is my name, my number here. It's my number that I use for writing tickets. Um, down on the bottom portion down here. So you were doing probably 50, but I'm marking that you were doing more than 45. Okay? So we're doing more than 15 over. MDWI. Since you're being charged with the DWI, you're not going to get charged with minor possession of alcohol. Okay? I'm not going to stack charges on you. I'm not going to charge you with with careless driving, DWI, care and minor possession. You're just going to get DWI and speeding. That's the minimum I can do. Okay? So those are your two charges. That's what you're getting arrested for tonight. Okay? You understand that? Okay. I'll hold all this up and it's gonna go in your stuff with your stuff at when we get to the jail, okay? Am I allowed to use my phone? Wait just a second, okay? Because I don't really like know what anybody's number. Right. So when we get to the jail, they'll allow you to get on your phone to get phone numbers off of it so you can call somebody. Okay? They will let you pull numbers off your phone. Okay. Do you know who you might want to call? To come I get you from there? I mean, because they're not. It's not. I don't know if they'll come. Right, let me go make two copies real quick, and then we'll get on our way, okay? Okay. Yeah, I'm so sorry. You're fine. Something Just that, court date things. Yeah. Um, I don't know. Like I said, I don't know how Texas and the state of Arkansas communicate as far as us taking your license. Mm -hmm. So that's something that you'll have to figure that out. Okay. Okay. So what do I do? Just like call. Yeah, you'll be able to call. Um, there'll be somebody you can talk. It'll give, be able to give you answers. So, we've got your phone. That's all we brought with us, okay? okay. We've got this, don't forget this right here, temporary license. So, that's the most important thing for you to keep, okay? Now, I do have to put the test back on you, okay? <laughs> We're going to go back out the way we can, okay? Step. Can I have to ride the front? I can't let you ride in the front. I'm okay. sorry. It's okay. <laughs> it is a policy. I cannot let you in the front. No, it's okay. <laughs> I know the back seat is not comfortable, it but I, sucks, but it's okay. I promise you, it's more comfortable for you than most people. Absolutely. No, you're fine. I know it's cold and you don't have a jacket. You may not feel much of it, but I'll... What year are you in school? Okay. What are you going to school for? What are you going to school for? Psychology. Psychology? Yeah, so like I want to be a therapist. Okay. 
Been through a few things. Uh, they'll probably hold you for six hours so you can sober up a little bit and then they would release you. That'll be something that they'll, they will let you know on that. Uh, as far as I'm concerned, I don't see any need for you to be held there for six hours so you can sober up. As long as you can get somebody who is sober to come pick you up, that's... said you said you only had a few drinks what time did y'all start drinking About eight. Okay. or are you even ca counting how many you had to drink Number doesn't sound very much like much, but when you're only five foot two, 100 pounds. Well, that's that's one of a few op reactions people have typically. I hope they do. I I can't answer that question. I don't know the answer to that. It is. Where everybody in Conway that gets arrested goes. Do I have to like put the clothes on? I don't know. I don't know what they're gonna have. What they're gonna have you do. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're fine. Step out. Do you have my phone? I have it in my pocket. Because I don't know anybody's name. They'll let you. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. Just... just wait right here. Let's. Back against this wall, right? Back, right against that. Twenty. Uh, D D W I. 
Yeah. Everything's done. Uh, you can let them go. I just need to take my handcuffs off. Come on. Don't want to run out and leave these. I'll never get them back. It's been a busy night for us. <laughs> it's not often you see us three times. Let them out.